Okay, so hello friends. Today our topic is a relative risk, attributable risk, and population attributable risk. So these three statistics are used in cohort study. Cohort study. Okay, to find the strength of association. Strength of association. Now here is a question that what is the as statistics to find the strength of association in case control study the answer is odds ratio okay now let's see the these three things one by one so first one is the relative risk so before going to one by one let's take a example here suppose this is 2020 and this is 2035 15 years later here we find 100 smokers okay and 100 non smokers non smokers okay in 2035 we see that 80 people 80 people developed lung cancer and here only 10 people developed lung cancer okay and we can say that these are exposed to the risk factor and these are non-exposed so we need two uh, data that is IE and I of ANE so IE here will be 80 of 80 by 100 okay 80 by 100 this incidence of i is incidence of exposed and this is of non exposed and this 10 by 100 now see one by one so first is the relative risk the formula is i e by i any okay is equal to here 80 by 100 divided by 10 by 100 is equal to 8 so interpretation we will say that smokers has eight times higher chances than non-smokers okay, to develop lung cancer next is okay so one thing is missing that is the risk ratio ratio sorry or you can say the interpretation based on risk ratio so if risk ratio greater than one if it is greater than one then we can see say that association is present okay if rr is equal to one then we can say no association okay no association and if it's R R less than one, we can say that risk factor is protective. Okay. So now next is attributable risk. <coughs> so here this the formula is A R is equal to incidence of exposed minus incidence of non-exposed divided by incidence of exposed into hundred. So according to example, let's uh, eighty by hundred this is 10 by 100 and this is 80 by 100 again and it is 10 it is 100 and so it will be 88 percent this now interpretation will say that 88 percent can be attributed attributed to smoke okay next is population attributable risk so here the formula is par so is equal to incidence of total minus incidence of non exposed divided by incidence of total into 100 so incidence of total is equal to here let's take 90 developed lung cancer okay
and the total people is 200 because 100 smoker and 100 non smoker so it will be 90 out of 200 minus 10 by 100 divided by again 90 by 200 okay into 100 okay so 90 how 90 came so here you can see this is 80 here and 18 here and total people 100 100 equal to 200 and here it is 80 and 10 90 so where is this this is so now you can see that this is 77 percent now you have to say that if we eliminate smoking from the same population then there will be a 77 percent of reduction of new cases of lung cancer every year in the same population okay so that's it so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel